There was a post on the X app from Intis here. Entice? Entice. I think that's how we pronounce it. We all know about the issues with the bots, but there was a post here where he says, a few days ago, Blizzard announced they had banned over 100,000 WoW accounts for cheating and exploration. Despite this, the fly hacking bots are still running rampant. And he uploaded a video as well here. Let's take a look at this. A few days ago, Blizzard stated that they had banned over 100,000 WoW accounts for cheating okay. and exploitation. Yeah. Now, while this blue post was posted on the Wrath Classic forums, the general consensus is that this does in fact cover classic era servers so okay. let's go and take a look and see if it's had any impact on it at all <laughs> i feel like we kind of know which direction this video is gonna go does it have any effect that they have banned a hundred thousand bots guys here I am. Oh, look at this. Right on yep, time. there's the okay, spot. look at this gentleman right here. He's just going to go up this tree here. There's the spot. And climb up. Oh, look at that. It's oh, so dumb, man. Just fine, Blizzard. Okay, there we Oh, there he goes. Look at him go. Look, he's having a great time. He knows he's not <laughs> I love Intai's, man. Look I love this guy. On your cholo. All right. Anyway, yeah. as uh, I was about to do an introduction, but we've already seen it. But nonetheless, uh, I'm currently here on the Still white happening. main servers. Okay, it is currently just after five o'clock. People are getting ready for their Nax runs. Yep. Um, and I was going to say bots are getting ready, but to be honest, they've uh, what you just saw. The bots are running all the way, all the time. Doesn't matter if it's midnight, if it's in the morning, like evening, whatever it is, they're always there. And I really feel like if we actually want something to change about this, we need to like... I don't know, like, at, at least as content creators, like, put those videos out there, let them know that we know that it's happening, and hopefully by some miracle, Blizzard can some can do something against it, right? Because it's, it's become pretty goddamn bad. Let's be honest here. If you go on the error servers, if you go on, like, any, any like, Wrath servers even, just any WoW server in general, especially the classic ones, the bots are just ridiculously rampant. They're everywhere. Just shame people who buy gold. I mean, at this point, I feel like it's almost the people that aren't buying gold that are being shamed, man. Because, like, GDKPs are so goddamn rampant. Like, it, it's, like, the, basically the main way of really playing WoW. And it's a little bit of a shame, I think. Well, then they've probably been doing uh, all day. Uh, so, in case you aren't aware, this is a notorious spot for bots uh yep. on the on the white main server okay and what Any they're server. doing is they're basically fly hacking because blizzard has no uh anti-cheat whatsoever um it's really bad games for the last i don't want i want to say a couple of decades have had uh you know uh anti-cheat that would stop you from fly hacking and even you know just Abnormally going above the ground, but not not here at Blizzard. Just anything that like alters the the way that you really play, like like a thing that like plays the game for you, right? Like it, it I, surely it cannot be that hard to combat it, right? Even even just placing a few game masters, man, just a few at these key locations, you could take out so many of the botting operations so quickly, right? But that's okay. Um... So what they're going yeah. to do is they they can actually fly hack anywhere, but for whatever reason they try and go through this tree. I think it's because mm. they feel like they're hiding that little bit more, so it's not as blatant. Uh, and then what they do is, as you could see, he, when he was flying across, they go to Stra Stratholm. Yeah, so they fly over and then they fly all across into Stratholm and then they solo farm Stratholm on mages and they make so much raw gold. And some of the bots are even boosting players and like boosting players for XP. As a bot, it's really ridiculous, man. GMs cost money and those bots are paying subs. Yeah, so that, that's where the issue really comes in, right, Miklun? Because they need to hire people, obviously, or put in like some sort of a program. They need to allocate resources to kind of, you know, circumvent these bots for happening and circumvent these bots from being in the game. But in the, in the, by, by, the, by default, because they're doing this and by proxy, they are reducing the amount of subs that they have because all the bots are paying customers and they're also allocating resources to, like, combat the bots by, you know, either doing, like, some GM uh, implementation or, like, some sort of a program thing, right? Or, like, some sort of, a, like, a, like, a feature to, like, really combat them. So it's, like, yeah, it's better for the game, but they lose money, right? But I don't know. It, it kind of sucks. Uh, Redu recruit me, I would do it for free. I bet there would be so many people that would do it for free. Like, genuinely. Uh, and continuously yeah. farm it. And that's what they do every single day. Uh, yeah, I've I literally just logged on and saw that. Per look, there's another one right there. Boom, flying into the nearly tree got, and then going all the way up. Cheeky bastard! Look, look, there he goes. Look, and that's another one. I like how they go into the tree. That they have like scripted them to go into the tree, 
So they like they, they won't be seen doing it, but like the bot is running out the tree and like just like it's so obvious. It's like it, they're not at this point they're not even hiding it. You know, those running the bot will just sub on another mail account. The money they make from selling the gold outweighs the sub cost of a new WoW sub. Oh, for sure. I mean, there's a reason why they're doing it, hundred percent. But there must, be, there surely there must be a way to make it less, you know, feasible for them to like have it like as an actual company and running it like that, right? Okay. Uh, there's been times where I've sat here and, and uh, right clicked, reported them. Unfortunately, it doesn't work. Uh, yeah. Over a hundred thousand accounts, uh, Blizzard have stated that they have banned obviously not working mm -hmm. uh because it's been a few days now since those bands uh and you can't it's tell me going. that they had already uh leveled up a character and started doing this again so leveled up a character i mean lo lo lots of these characters even are boosted characters because whenever they boost a character the, the money that they make in is so goddamn fast unfortunately right. these bands aren't working uh why there isn't an anti-cheat i'll never know uh if you're interested in this kind of content i am yeah. doing a more in-depth video on youtube hopefully it'll be out uh, either today or tomorrow that's cool um but yeah please follow my twitter so we can uh, try and get to the bottom of this and try and get this all sorted but anyway hope you're well peace I like I like Insights a lot. I think it's good that there's more people like bringing some uh, some more like attention to this, whether it's through Twitter or whether it's through YouTube or streams or whatever. Like, we need like content creators to like let let it be known because I mean I know everybody does know it, but the more people that push it, the better, right? In terms of changing it, right? The exploits continue in Wrath Classic. Players have found a way to exploit the level 70 boost multiple times on the same account. Bots are creating a fresh 70 boosted rogues and completing the first quests while fly hacking in stealth. Then they're, they, they are then getting the 100 gold they receive from quests and mailing it to a mule character before rinsing and repeating the bot over and over again. Which means that they effectively are just printing gold. They're not doing anything of value to the game. They are abusing the boosted level 7 boosted system to complete like make characters over and over and over again deleting them and making a new one to get a hundred gold for free mailing the mailing the gold over and then just like rinsing repeating right let's, let's take a look at this here so, so so this is an ogre mar so this is a bot that's getting uh mind vision by a, a priest going below the ground doing the intro quest opening up their bags popping sprint so what are they doing what are they running right now guys is they're running over to a mailbox and then they're, they're, they're sending in the 100 gold that you make from the introduction quest from, from a boosted character. And after they do that, then they delete the character and they use... I don't know what it is, but they use some sort of a thing where they can make another boost without having to pay, basically, because they're deleting the character. So they're basically just exploiting the, the boosted thing to make like 100 gold, I guess, like every two minutes, every one minute. Yeah, rinse and repeat. So they make the character, they are below the ground, they run over to the rogue trainer to turn in the introductionary quest, then they open up their bags, they run over to the other rogue trainer, or like they run over to the vendor, they sell all the stuff, go over to the uh, mailbox, and then they send it over. Har hardly an exploit, honestly. Okay, so you think a rogue going below the ground, fly hacking, and exploiting a, <laughs> and exploiting a boosted character infinitely on a bot that does it automatically is hardly exploiting. So, okay, it, 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 first of all, it's a bot doing it. It's automated. Second of all, it's fly hacking. And third of all, it, it is exploiting like a, like a boosted feature that you can have in, in the game to make infinite amount of gold. That, that is like the most amount of exploiting that you can possibly do. But I could do the same amount of thing with zero botting. Well, yeah, you could exploit as well. <laughs> yeah, you could go. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Sounds like a feature to me. Yeah, 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 I mean, yeah, you could go do that as well. You can also go farm gold like the bots are doing. But th that's the point. It's bots that are doing it. And I mean, I, I don't get me wrong. I feel like the whole thing that like the uh, they're doing the uh, the exploit and the booster thing is horrible by in of it by itself because you could do this on fresh characters yourself too. But it's literally like an infinite gold farm for bots to do. This is ridiculous. Uh, maybe he's not botting, you have no proof of, the f of that. What if I log in? Like, can, can I actually find them if I log into the game here? Is, is there going to be any more information here on the, the Twitter post? 
Oh, there's actually some more information. You're able to see the bots yourself if you go and stand in the Rogue Trainer in Stormwind and Ogremore and look for the achievements to pop up over and over again. You will be able to go and slash who in Ogremore to see many level 70 rogues. So they're all basically getting the introductionary uh, achievement for completing the, uh, the boost character thing. And then they just delete the character afterwards and then they send over the gold. Tetsu confirmed the boosted bots. What's this? There's a... They're printing so much gold. Oh my god. Dude, you think it just can't get any worse? You think like, oh surely, like it cannot get any worse than this. Bots running rampant in Maradon, bots like running over to Stratholm over and over again, printing money and gold in like dungeons and stuff like that. RMT out uh, like going crazy. And then this comes out. Bots are like literally like now they're abusing like the boosted system. Clearly botting is the key issue, but if Blizzard makes a two minute request that gives a hundred gold, I honestly can't blame the botters. Blizzard is literally leaving thousands of gold up for free. That's what I meant. Well, I, I think you should definitely work on, work on the way that you're wording it. Th uh, still, I, I think, yes, obviously, this is a, a Blizzard issue. This is something that they should fix. 100% I agree. But, like, yeah, I mean, you could say that with, with, with all of these things for sure, man. Like, I mean, it, but it, it is very clearly exploiting. They are exploiting within the game. But this is something that they should definitely look into doing, like, fixing, right? Because this is genuinely very, very bad.